Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the asset store called the Illustrated Nature. Now, I'm going to point out quickly that this is the sample, as we can see right here, so this is always likely to be free. There is a paid version of that, but we'll get into that a little bit later on. Let's dive straight into it and take a look at this asset itself. Now, I kind of like this asset for a lot of reasons. The main thing about it, which kind of draws your attention, is the background. I like just how blurred the background is because it gives a perspective of how you're looking at it. So it just kind of gives it it's off in the distance and I kind of like that. Quality wise it is actually quite nice. It does appear to be somewhat low poly however that low poly can actually be morphed with some post processing which does come with it so we can change it if we need to. So looking at it, obviously it is just a sample, so the massive amounts of stuff here isn't kind of reflective of what's in that full version. Again, we'll get to that a little later on. Um, but this gives a real good indication of what you will get. Now, first glance, if we go to the game view, we can see, yeah, it's not too bad. It looks kind of nice. It's going to be... Um, on, well, on mobile, I would say, it's going to be kind of nice, uh, no strain on it too much because there's not a lot to it. Obviously, adding post-processing probably would. However, if you're doing this on a um, PC or console, a little bit of post-processing and you can actually change the whole dynamic of it and it looks really, really nice. Quantity. We actually get a fair bit here, believe it or not, because the um, skybox in the background, obviously, fairly nice. Again, you can see what I mean by the whole perspective thing. This looks like it's off in the distance. So I kind of like that skybox. Obviously, we get the trees, the grass, materials, textures, everything. Now, one thing I'm going to add to extras is we actually get some audio with this, which actually really adds to it. So I'm going to press play in this scene view and just look how cool that looks and sounds. It's great. So extras. Yeah, there's a couple of extras here, especially those sounds. Those sounds really add to it. Uh, so if I just change the uh, light around a little bit, let's get some shadowing going on in the right direction. See? Yeah. Cool. It's really nice. So yeah, extras. Some there. Um, a folder's uh, laid out nice and neatly. It's always good to see. And there are some demo scenes. You guys know I'm a sucker for demo scenes, always love to see it. Even some shaders here. Obviously the shaders we can see uh, being used. Uh, a couple of scripts, which if we quickly go through them, we can see we've got the walking sounds that are obviously on the controller, uh, the controller itself, the mouse look, and the wind. So it, these scripts are actually going to be really handy, even if you don't want anything else in this. For example, this wind script will probably come in quite handy to some degree. So again, that's probably classed as an extra as well. So let's get to that price. Free, because obviously it is uh, just a sample. And there is a paid version of it, which is currently 44 euro, which is about 50 bucks, I think. Um, again, it's something that maybe you've got to consider yourself for what you're trying to create here. Um, I always like to see the samples given away because it gives a good indication of what that asset could be. And if the sample, the demo in this case, is this good, imagine what the full version is going to be like. Probably best to always check out the demos before you take that plunge or perhaps <laughs> see one of these little reviews. So price free. Yeah, I think you could probably accomplish quite a bit uh, for this demo version. But again, if you want to take the plunge, maybe just check this out first. Usefulness. This particular version of it, the sample version, you could probably get a bit of quality out of this for any type of game. If you're creating a nice little... Uh, forest or perhaps even just like a little movie scene this is probably going to go down quite well if you've just got one little scene that you want to create a little cut scene of in a forest this is probably going to do the trick absolutely perfectly obviously it is customizable because you can change whatever you need so you don't have to stick with this demo scene you don't have to stick with what it gives you if you want to create something completely different, perhaps with uh, some of the wind, the lighting, like if we change the lighting to red and we want to make it really intense and like it's on fire, then yeah, obviously that is really customizable. So it's always worth playing around with those. So 
As you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. I just want to press play again. Just up and see this in motion. I really, really like that. So you probably guessed by now that I'm actually going to recommend this. If you're creating something simple, if you want to demo something, create a quick prototype, this is probably going to be really, really useful. If you're creating something on a massive scale and you like what you see here, it might be worth investing in that full version. Because that full version is obviously going to contain a heck of a lot more than just this demo version. And you can just go absolutely crazy and create an awesome looking, I mean, just look at that there, good looking asset. Brilliant. Oh, one question. Is the Skywards part of the asset? Yeah, it is. Because we can see it right there. It's awesome. So yeah, um, if you guys have used it, if you use the full version as well, let me know what you think. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, link me to it. I'd like to check it out. Um, and don't forget, guys, click on that subscribe button. Click on the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with all of these reviews and tutorials on my channel. Thank you very much for watching, guys.